I'm on the wrong. I'm on y'all. I got a right side hall hallway. I'll jump on you. Ready? Go. Clear! Ivans, you want us on the Ivans? Yeah. On that side, go! Yeah, stay up. Hit, hit, hit! First small is hit. Back battle! Back battle drill! Back battle drill! If you go inside. Today, uh, we are part of a company level attack. Uh, right now, we are on Golf 29 conducting the platoon version. So, my platoon is on Golf 29, while the other two platoons in my company are conducting a two platoon attack on Golf 36. So, right now, we are doing a platoon level with company level assets on Golf 36 as well. On Golf 29, we have uh, 240s and we have maws and squad level assets uh, trying to close with and destroy an enemy uh, that is located within the Gulf 29. Within my squad, um, every, every rifleman has a M27 automatic rifle. Uh, three members in my squad have M320 grenade launchers. So these grenade launchers have the ability to employ HE on trenches and bunkers that can ultimately change the level of the fight that and we can allow to our squad to close on a trench. The purpose of this entire exercise is to certify our company in a live fire exercise, which will ultimately uh, perfect our movement and our communication, which will get us ready for a deployment. There are always challenges that we face with every, uh, every live fire attack, every, every range, every mission that we get handed. There, there's never a, you never have a mission without friction. That's what I always like to say is, if there's friction, that's a good thing. Uh, so if, if you're dealing with the mission and something comes up that wasn't in your plan, then something's going right. And today we were executing our attack in Gulf 29 and my squad was too close up to the Maw's uh, front blast, so we, uh, which was not expected. So we had to pull back about 50 to 100 meters and then we were able to get the Maw's on a trench, which allows us to close. 